morning class. My name is Teacher Baraza and I'll be the teacher for the day. I hope you're going to enjoy the class. It's a follow-up to the class that you had last week where we were taught about courage. But before we start, let's, uh, we can have a word of prayer. So let's close our eyes and we pray. Our Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning. We thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you for your protection throughout the week. We thank you that, Lord, you've given us courage to face through uh, different challenges in our day-to-day -day lives. And we are here again to listen to your word. And as we start, we ask that, Lord, may you be with us. Open our hearts to receive from you and be our teacher, Lord. We thank you and we worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, class, what did we learn about last Sunday? We learned about uh, courage and at times uh, this courage takes us through challenges and even dangers. So today we are going to continue uh, from the stories that we learned uh, last week about courage. So the, there, are two stro there are two stories that we learned last week. Which ones were they? I hope you can remember. Yes. One was for Daniel, and the other one was about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And what do we see in common about these two stories? Yes. They all overcame the challenges that they had because they were all in danger, but God protected them. Today we are going to learn a dif uh, something different. It's all about courage, but uh, at times things might not go the same way, uh, like what happened with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And I want to share with us a story uh, about four young men. So these four young men were missionaries in a country called Ecuador. In, it's in Southern America. And they had to be courageous to do what they did. So these men were, uh, they were missionaries, as I said, and they were moving around the country, spreading the word of God and sharing the love of Christ. There was this tribe in Ecuador called the, the Auka tribe, which was very uh, feared because people were saying that they were very dangerous, even to their neighbors. And no one had gone to, to speak to them about Christ. But these men wanted to try it out. So what they did before they, before they went there to, to preach to them about Christ they decided to start by being friendly to them. So as they were flying, they were flying over their land with the, with that, on an aeroplane, they would drop food stuff for them. So after a while, they thought that at least this, these people know us. So next time, we should be able to land there and go and speak to them about Christ. So one day after they felt like they, they've already had time, and these people must have known them. They decided to land there. But to, to be, as, as a precaution, they decided to take guns. So when they, when they landed, they, they came out with their guns, but they had promised that they would not shoot at, uh, at these people and, unless it's very dangerous. So when they, just immediately after they landed, uh, and started going towards these people. They, as, as it was known, they were very dangerous. So they, they, uh, instead of welcoming them, these people thought that because these people had gun, the missioners had gun, that they were coming to attack them. So the people, decide, instead of welcoming them, they decided to attack them. And unfortunately, they killed them. When other missioners heard about this story, they were, they were really discouraged. They mourned about them. But then they decided, if these people died because of trying to reach out to this tribe that has not known Christ, we should take that sacrifice. And more than 1,000 people 
decided to offer themselves so that they could reach out to this tribe. And slowly, this tribe was able to know that these people were not dangerous. They just wanted to share with us about the love of Christ. So when we compare this, this story and what we learned last Sunday, we see that there are some differences. So uh, can, you, can you guess what differences are there in these two stories? Yes. So the main difference is that even though these people are courageous, uh, they did not overcome. They, they, they were not saved, but they died from the sacrifice. And this just tells us that, uh, this just goes to tell us that sometimes, even with our courage, we might have challenges. At times, we might, things might not go the way we wanted because we are courageous. You might get hurt, just as we were told last Sunday, uh, about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, about the fire, which was very dangerous. Just imagine if the angel of the Lord was not sent to protect them. They would have died, isn't it? And that's what happened to these four young men. They died. But there's one thing that came out. From their death, more than one people, more, more than 1,000 people decided to offer their time so that they could reach out as missioners to this tribe. And it was through that sacrifice of uh, these four young men that we see, a sac we see more than 1,000 people offering their, their time so that they could reach out to, to this tribe. And this tribe was able to know Christ because of the sacrifice of these four young men. So, courage is very good. And courage comes with danger. At times, our courage, uh, we, when we are courageous, we will overcome or we will, we will come out victorious. But at times, we might, uh, with our courage, we might even uh, get hurt. And when this happens, it's not the end. There are so many stories that we've read in the Bible where God has used uh, some of the events that happened where people got hurt or where even people died to change lives of more and more people. We can see that in the story of Christ. Christ died, isn't it? And he died so that so that we could get saved. It's through his death that we are able to get saved. So even, uh, even for us, there are times we will have courage to face different things. We might get hurt, but when we get hurt, it might be a lesson that God wants to teach you. We will face different situations in our lives. It could be to protect ourselves. It could be to protect others. It could be to help others to come to know Christ, like what we saw with the four young men. It could also be to overcome temptations that come our way because you need, you need courage to overcome these temptations. So one thing that we need to know is that we need courage so that we can overcome and with courage, even if we get hurt, Christ will use that to teach. Christ has a lesson that he wants to teach us through the situations that we go through. And uh, it's not all the time that everything goes right or the way you want. We just need to understand that uh, that. God lets different things to, to come through for a reason. Sometimes he lets bad things happen so that he can turn them around for the good of ourselves and also others. 
it's only him who knows the reason why he let some things happen. And as young children, you always go through different challenges, through different temptations. It can be peer pressure. It can be decisions that you make about your career, about what you do in school, about your friends. At times, they might, you might do bad things, or your friends might do bad things and even make you join them or want you to join them in, in doing those bad things. But I want to encourage you that don't do those things because your friends want you to do them. Do things because it's right. Even if it hurts, just do the right thing. And that's what God wants for us. So children, you need to know that as you grow up or as you do different things, you will always face challenging situations. But when you stick to what is right, God will see you through it. And even if, even if it has, even if you don't get through it immediately, God will use that situation to help you and to teach you different things. We saw that with the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They say that they would not worship that idol. And one thing that they said is that uh, they know that their God will save them. And even if he doesn't save them, they will still not worship the idol. So, same to you, you should not do bad things because of peer pressure, because your friends want you to do them, or because you feel like it's right, or maybe because you want to say cheating in an exam because you want to pass. Don't do it. Just do the right thing. And pray to God to help you improve on yourself or to be a better person so that you can Next time, even if the exam is very hard, you can overcome it. You can pass it very well. You'll face challenges even when choosing your careers, things that you want to do. Just pray to God and be courageous because when you do it, God will help you. He'll give you the strength to overcome it. The same way he gave strength to these children, uh, that we've read about before, this young man. The same way he gave courage to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The same way he gave courage to Joshua. The same way he gave courage to Daniel and many others. God will give you that courage. And he will help you through whatever situation that you're going through. I want to share briefly uh, three three different uh, stories or three different things that uh, we can see uh, from the Bible. One is a... Okay, there, there are three different trees. One wanted, really wanted to, to carry treasure. And another one wanted to, to make a big ship. Another one wanted to... Uh, to show people the way to heaven. So the first one, when it was cut down, instead of being made to a treasure box, the person who cut it down decided to make, uh, to use it to make a, a feeding trough for, for his cows and sheep. This tree was very discouraged. But when the time Christ was being born. We saw him being taken to a manger. And it was this tree that was used to, building that, uh, to build that manger that Christ was, uh, was set in when, after being born. It's then that this tree realized that even though I had wanted to, to, to be used to hold treasure. And I was used to make 
a, a feeding trough for chicken, I've ended up making, holding one of the best treasures in the world. That's the future king. The second tree which wanted to, which wanted to make a ship was used to make a boat. And one day, as Christ was, uh, after, he, after he was preaching, he, he decided to take a boat with his disciples. And it was this boat that the tree was used to make. The same boat that Christ used to calm a storm. And it is then that this tree realized that I've, I hope that I, I initially I had wanted to carry many people, but I've ended up carrying the king of all nations. That's Christ. The other tree that wanted to point people to, to God was made as a plank and it was just dumped somewhere. And it was very discouraged. But then, when the time uh, for Christ being crucified reached, they went and picked these planks. The planks that were picked from the tree that had wanted to point people to heaven. And it was these planks that were used to make the cross that Christ was cruci crucified on. And this tree ended up fulfilling its purpose. It's through the cross that people get saved. And this tree was able to point people to heaven. So even for us, you might have challenges. Or you might, make, you might have ambitions. There's something that you really want to do. But then immediately or in the short term, it doesn't go the same way that you wanted it to go. But God has a purpose. When the right time comes, all that he has in store will come to pass. And you can only do this if you are courageous. So be strong and take courage. Because when you do that, God will enable you to achieve what you wanted. And not just what you wanted. He will do exceedingly abundantly above all that you even ever wanted. So just make sure that you stick to what you had purposed in life, to what God teaches you. Because when you do that, God will see you through. Because you are courageous. So be strong and take courage. So uh, I hope we've learned something today. And I hope that we will continue to be strong and be courageous. So we're going to have the verse, the memory verse for the day. And it's coming from Joshua chapter 1, verse 7. Can we take our Bibles? Joshua chapter 1, verse 7. And it says, so I'll read. It says, be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, that you may be successful wherever you go. It's okay, children. You need to be strong and courageous and obey what you, the instructions that you've been given. So, when you obey God and you're strong, uh, when you obey God and you're courageous, you will be successful in what you want. Don't listen to the noises that come on the sides because they will distract you and they will make you fail in achieving what you wanted. So make sure that, just like Joshua, the same way he was given instructions by Moses and he stuck to them, and he was able to lead the children of Israel to the promised land. It's in the same way that you too will be able to achieve what you want or what God has in store for you. So God bless you. And during the week, let us be strong and 
take courage and God will bless us. So let's close with a word of prayer. So we pray. Our Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you even for teaching us to be strong and to be courageous. Because, Lord, when we do that and we obey your commands, we will be able to achieve what you have in store for us. And in the same way, we ask that, Lord, may you teach us and may you show us the right way. And, Lord, give us the strength to be strong and courageous in the challenges that we face in our life. Even during this time where uh, we have this pandemic, coronavirus, we ask you to help us to be strong, that we will listen to the instructions that we're given and we will obey them so that we don't get infected. And also, whatever we were taught in school and even in Sunday school, we will continue to put that in practice in our lives, O oh Father. Father, also help us with our ambitions, O oh Lord, that, Father, we will seek your strength so that we can be able to achieve all that we would want to achieve. And show us the right way so that, Lord, we can obey your commands. We also pray that you bless us, you bless our parents, you also protect them even as they go out uh, to do their day-to-day -day activities for work, for business, that you'll also protect them. And even for us as we stay at home, that you'll also protect us and that we will not get hurt in any way. Father, we thank you even for our teachers. May you bless them. May you help them and use them as vessels to teach us to know your ways so that we can seek to them. We thank you even for our pastors. We thank you even for our bishop. We thank you for all people who you've, you've placed in authority, O oh Lord. And we ask that, Lord, you may grant them wisdom so that they can guide this nation in the right way. Lord, we thank you and we worship you. And it's in Jesus' name we believe and pray. Amen. So God bless you and have a good week. See you next week. Hello guys, thank you for watching our service today. Please don't forget to subscribe click down here and subscribe and follow us on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter and at home. Thank you very much. Join us on our YouTube channel and our Facebook page. Barikiwa.